What's going on, gang? Uh, 125-2017. I'm fixing to input my taxes on taxact.com on the uh, old PC here at the house. And uh, hopefully I get most of them back. Hopefully I don't have to pay y'all anything. But I don't know. Um, we'll see how that happens. But I want to talk about a couple things real quick. Um, first off, number one thing. Would y'all be interested in doing some of these? No, not some of those. Those are garbage. That's a South Carolina crossword. It's a, actually a $3 winner. Woo! Um, usually they're losers for me, but in all fairness, would y'all be interested in doing some $30 tickets from uh, the state of Georgia? Um, a book of those is only $300. There's only 10 tickets per book. They came out with a new one uh, yesterday, which I would not have known about unless my subscriber, Christopher Lindsay, from up there in uh, Columbus, North Kakalaka, A. Thank you very much, sir, for tipping me off to it that they have one out. I haven't been out to uh, Georgia since before Thanksgiving. Um, $30 Billionaire's Club. Very nice ticket. Pimpin'. Looks like uh, something that Blob Platino, uh scratches off on his channel. He loses on all the time. That big red and silver son of a bitch. Um, if y'all are interested in getting on a book of those, let me know. Kale8670 at AOL.com is the email address. I will put my text address or text uh, number in the uh, comment box below so you can let me know that way also. Um, also... I want to do a book of North Carolina $30 tickets. Now, y'all's tickets in North Carolina, the $30 ones, they come in books of $900. That's a lot to do for a channel. That's a lot to get some people in on. But look at this. I want you to look at some stats. We have about 760 subs on this biatch. Okay? And uh, very few participate. There's maybe about... 15 or 20 people that participate between group books and commenting. The rest of them are like wallflowers or uh, they're not here. So, can that many people fill up 30 spots, $30 each? I'll fill up a spot myself because I want to see how it plays out. Um, is there that many people who can fill up that? Just let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Don't PayPal anything to me right now. Don't tell me, oh my God, I want a spot. No, that's not what I'm going to do right now. I'm just gauging interest. Let me know if you want a spot in a $30 group book or if you could do a couple spots. Just tell me, hey, I could do that. Hey, I could do that. Hey, my name is Scratcher B. Scratcher. I could do that. Hey, my name is New Jersey Scratcher. Kale, I'd love to do that. Hey, buddy, my name is Scratching Down in Texas. I'd love to do that for you. Woo, howdy. Just let me know. Let me know. And, um, you know, I want to gauge interest on it before I go to launch it and um, then get nobody to respond and look like a big jackass, you know. So um, uh, just let me know. Um, if I don't get a lot of response, I'm thinking that I could fill the Georgia book um, of uh, $30 tickets because it's only 10 tickets to a book of $30 ones, especially if I bought one myself. And uh, their odds are a lot better. Now, something a little bit more serious. Uh, I've been on this thing for about uh, four years right now, and I have 780, 790 videos so far. Um, I only started monetizing the things in June or July. And the reason I did it is because I saw a tutorial from my friend, the Lotto King, Ken. Great guy. He, he did a tutorial on how you actually do that. I had no idea how to make money off this damn ship. I had no idea how to do any of that. And guess what? He showed me the light. And right now, I have a grand whopping total of $87. <laughs> you got to get $100 just to get fucking paid. So I want to know. What is different between my channel, some of the other channels that you see on YouTube, and the channels on here that do scratch tickets that have blowed up huge? What's the difference? What's what's the difference? Is my content not as good? Um, do we not show as many winners? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I scratch losers, and uh, I'll post them up. 
excuse me, I had to fart real quick. Um, and I'll post them up. Um, I will not sit here and video and video and video and video and delete and delete and video and delete to get you a winner. I'm not going to do that because I'm not that guy. Because you know that's not the truth. That's not how it rolls. I'll show you losers this was today. Matter of fact, I did one for Rowdown. She won the most of my group book last night. Guess what? I bought her a $10 elegant cash. I scratched that some bitch off. Guess what? Fucking loser. But I posted it up for video verification purposes and for views. Why are there some channels that can post and post and post and all of a sudden they take six months off? And guess what? They come back and they still got a thousand, two thousand, six thousand subs. Huh? Why are there some channels that can ride around all day long showing you where they buy tickets at? They scratch off big dollar tickets for a few months, then they disappear. Nobody knows where they're at. They're sending comments to them like, Hey, buddy, where you at? What you doing? Where you, where you been? And they don't even answer you. They don't give a shit about you. Yet all of a sudden, they show back up. And guess what? It's like Jesus came back. Huh? How? How does that happen? Why is it that some of us that sit here and toil and work hard for you people have very little subs, and some people that it seems like do jack shit get the ton of subs? I just want to know. I'm going to title this YouTube video, How Do You Get More Subscribers on a YouTube Scratch Off Lottery Video? And I hope it blows up huge, no doubt. hope this becomes my best monetary gain of the year. Because uh, we all need to know. Because some of us would like to get a little bit of something back for what we've gave back. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Go Cox. Go Coach Boom. And uh, go Lottery. Players. Scratchers. No doubt. Love y'all. Peace. Out of my own.